Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video we'll show you how to connect screen copy wirelessly. So you probably know that the most known and common method of connecting to your phone and mirroring your phone screen on your PC is by using a USB wire that you connect that you use to connect your phone to your USB port in your PC and that way you can easily demonstrate your screen of your phone on your PC but of course there's also a wireless method to be able to stream your phone screen onto your computer screen without the wire for that you will need Wi-Fi connection so a Wi-Fi connection is going to be used for that um, so make sure that you have at least a semi good Wi-Fi router because it because if it's going to be way too slow for example or unstable your stream will lag and be just not going to be very good so let's get to setting up the wireless connection for our screen copy. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open up your advanced settings, open up this window here, uh, then you need to go to environment variables. All right, from here, you need to double click on the path. And from here, we need to add our screen copy into this path location. So for that, click on new. And now from here, you need to choose a path where you have your screen copy saved to so as you can see mine is saved at the D drive in the uh, screen copy folder so just uh, go ahead into this path and copy it you can use control C or you can just double click and select copy now get back here press new again and control V and now you have the path added and then click OK the next thing you need to do is to get your IP address from your phone. So depending on the kind of phone you have and the kind of model and the kind of operating system it has, the location of this setting will vary. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to add a few commands into the command prompt. I have a text file here and this is the first command you need to add and this is the second. So the first one is going to be just setting up and then the second connect command will be responsible for connecting your phone by using your IP address. So something you have copied, the IP address you've copied from your settings and your status the way I showed before, you need to basically input this command. I will show it now. Input this ADB connect and then after that, after space, input your IP address with numbers. So open up your command prompt as administrator. Let me do that. And now from here, the first command you need to type in is this one, the first one. I'm just going to copy and paste it. So after inputting this command, you should hear your phone restarting. From there, you can disconnect your cable from your phone and PC. And now let's type in this command, the second one, ADP, ADB connect. And now your IP address. I'm not going to show mine. Just make sure you type in all the commands properly, then press enter and everything should work. Okay, so in your command prompt, you will see a text notification that it's successfully connected. And then from here, you can just go back to your folder with your screen copy and launch it just like you would do with your cable. Just press on the no console or you can use your custom resolution. As you can see, I have created a bad file, launch this no console command, this VBS file. And as you can see, I am now connected wirelessly and you probably see on the top there's nothing there's no icon that will say that USB is connected because my cable is disconnected and everything works and as you can see I can easily control my phone with my mouse and everything works wirelessly if this video helped you guys please press the like button subscribe to our channel and be sure to stick with us until the next tutorial